right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwarash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwarash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, Great Millstone. Who still go out there on the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% true according to the Bible and Hebrew well. And Shalom, La Bacharium, Wa Barakim, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashim of Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And uh, pretty much the lesson is going to be going into how the Lord uh, is going to forgive yeah, forgiven our sins, man. You see? So the first Christian, the first precept we're going to grab is the book of First uh, John, one, verse nine, and it reads: It says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins." Right now, if we confess our sins to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, you know, uh, He'll be uh, faith. He is faithful to forgive our sins, man. Now, what's sin according to the Bible? When you read 1 John 3 and 4, sin is the breaking of the law, statutes and commandments of the Bible. Okay? So, if we, if we, if we, which is, this is a humble act. When you confess your, your sins to your by Shema Shah, and you know that you did wrong, and you pray, you know what I'm saying, fast if it needs to be about it, you know, we have to have faith that he's going to forgive our sins, right? And it says, and to cleanse us, from all our righteousness, exactly, see? And how do we get cleansed spiritually? By the word, okay? We get we get cleansed by the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah, which the, the scriptures tells us to do. Okay. Uh my five verse ten. If we say we if we say that we have not sinned, uh we make him a liar. In his word, not in us. Right, that's going uh, on the two thirds of our people, man. You see, because this is how this is how the two thirds act, man. Even this is what the two thirds say, man. Uh, the, uh, the how they conduct themselves in this life, you know, uh, smoking weed, uh, um, smoking cigarettes, you know, being sodomites, you know, being lesbians, you know, getting on lineups and tattoos and all that stuff that they enjoy. That's wicked, you know. They say that. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? But guess what? They're lying, man. Even even the ones that know that they're Israelites, you know, they're doing wicked things, you know, and they say that they're not doing nothing wrong, okay? And but the word, but how about the spirit of Yahweh about Shemal Shah is not in them, okay? So the Lord is going to condemn them, which they're going to be, which means they're going to be judged by the law or by the sins that they committed, while the elect of the nation of Israel's sin is going to be pardoned. So this is the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, and uh, let's see here, verse 43. This is Acts 10, verse 43. And to him give all the prophets witness, and that through his name, uh oh, and through his name, which is only one, whosoever believeth, which goes synonymous with the word faith, in him shall receive remission of sins right and the word remission means forgiveness okay so who whoever have faith in your heart by and have faith in his name you know uh is going to receive forgiveness of sins man now that's a cut to all these other israelite camp this particular group or two groups really you know what i'm saying that say that or, or teach a different name you know what i'm saying you know the, 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 the sins of the elect it's going to be forgiven through the names of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know that the two thirds sins is uh, going to be not pardoned, and they're going to be judged for that for for the sins that they commit. They're not going to be forgiven. Okay. So going to the book of Acts, two Acts two verse thirty eight. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me go back to this one right first. Let me see. Let me see what account this was. Uh, oh, this, this is the head apostle Peter. It says, Peter preaches in Cornelius' house, which Cornelius is an Israelite. Okay? Contrary to what some other camps say, you know, Cornelius is an Israelite. Okay? 
It was like foreigner. This is the book of Acts 2, verse uh, 38. And it says, Then Peter, which is the head of uh, the head disciple of Yahweh Shai, right? Said unto them, Repent and be baptized, which means submerged, right? Um, every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach for the remission of sin, which remission means forgiveness. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Right. And what's the gift of the Holy Spirit on this side? The 100% understanding of the scriptures, which we have as a body. Starting off with the elder apostles of Great Millstone and the main elders of Connecticut. On down to the camp heads. On down to younger brothers like uh, such as myself, man. You see? So, that's what we're doing constantly. We're constantly repenting. You know, doing doing the best that we can day by day, man. You know, and being submerged with, with this truth, okay, with the spiritual living water, all right? So, now let's get some more precepts, all right? For the two-thirds of our people, they ain't submerged with the truth. They're submerged in, 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 uh, in filthy, polluted, uh, stagnant water, okay, which is the, the lies and false philosophies of the world, which they're going to get judged for that. You know, if they don't repent and be a, a predestined to be of the elect. This is the book of Matthew 18. Uh, this is book of Matthew 18, verse 21. It says, Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft or often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. Yahweh shall say unto him, I say not unto thee unto seven times, but unto seventy times seven, right? So, you know, just like how Yahweh Shema Shah forgives all the sins that we commit, which is a lot, you know, the sins that we know and the sins that we don't know that we commit, and then plus the sins of our past lives, you know, Yahweh Shema Shah, through predestination, is going to forgive uh, all the sins of the elect and deliver them, man. Eh? While the two-thirds are going to be condemned, they're going to get judged for what they did in accordance to the laws that they break, okay? So just like we forgive our brothers, you know, uh, a limited amount of times, you know, same way how Yahweh Bashim HaShah forgives us, you know? As a matter of fact, I'm going to read a quick commentary on that. It says, uh, the rabbis taught, which are rabbis like teacher or master, taught that people should forgive those who offend them three times. Peter, trying to be especially generous, asked Yahweh Shah if seven, the perfect number, was enough times to forgive someone. But Yahweh Shah answered 70 times seven, the number of eternity, meaning that we shouldn't even keep track of how many times we forgive someone. We should always forgive those who are truly repentant, no matter how many times they ask. Right. So, yeah. And that's showing brotherly love in itself. That's a characteristic of Yahweh Shai, you know, which we, we walk in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. You know, starting off with the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. So now, uh, this is the book of... Uh, this is the book of uh, St. John 14, and uh, let me see, yeah, matter of fact, uh, yeah, this is the book of St. John 14 to 13, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, this is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who the word England calls Jesus Christ, that will I do, that the Father, Yahweh, may be glorified in the Son, Yahweh Shai. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And that's a promise. And what's one of the main things that we ask in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shah? Forgiveness, mercy, deliverance, man. You see? You know? Because we don't know the sins that we commit. You know what I'm saying? We, we commit in our past life and we don't know the sins that we commit in, in, in this life, man. But the sins that we do know that we went off on. We re repent, man. You know, and even of the sins that we don't know that we commit, we still ask for forgiveness in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the Lord Yahweh Shai promised his men 
you know that he's going to do it. He's going to, anything we ask in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, you know, as he sees fit, he's going to do it, you know. So, now let's go to the book of Sirach. We're going to close it out with this one. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 2. Uh, let's see, verse 11. This is Sirach 2, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. Right, so, you know, the ultimate time of affliction, you know, of course, is that martial law. And when Yahweh Bashim HaShah put the spear in these different countries to shoot those missiles, Yahweh Bashim HaShah is going to deliver his men and protect them in these evil days, man. You see? So, yeah. So, Lord's will is edifying through the Spirit. You know, till next time I say, Shalom, Lord's will. Shalom.